the 30 amp plug I wired into my uh, 3000 watt power inverter. Uh, we're trying to make it useful and handy for the 30 amp cord to plug in to the trailer. The uh, issue is I'd like to be able to have the door latched and locked for weather and security. And I got this nice little power hose whatever access under ten dollars I got a three and a half inch hole saw to drill a hole through the basement very much like is for the water side of the M&P I'll find a nice spot my intent is to go right here by the basement wall to uh, all this solar stuff is in the way of putting in big stuff anyway and I'd like to put a couple a AGM batteries over on this side. There's a cross member right here where the basement starts and support right here. I'm going to tear this liner on the bottom to make sure there's no wires. It's about where I want to be. There is none. Okay, so I just missed uh, aluminum support going in this direction. And you can feel these from underneath. And there's another one right here. Here's your whole half an inch of maybe one inch of fiberglass. That fit perfectly with uh, the three and a half inch. I will put it facing this direction because I suspect that's the direction the cord will be pushing. If you were to order one of these, it's the three inch and uh, the depth is two and a quarter and it is absolutely perfect. I will be able to glue the fabric to the bottom of it when I'm done. I'm going to use three small pan heads and not I've been waiting for this electrical box cut out or electric hatch. I'll be using the same hole saw. It's a three and a half inch, just like the directions say. Using these nice pan head screws, they came from another project. I don't don't know what, but they appear to be like uh, number six or eight, and they are not self-tapping. But we're just going into aluminum.
probably replace these with pop rivets when we get home. We're on the road. This job is complete except for a different fastener here so I can disconnect it a little easier. So we are set up to roll down the road. Got the cable tied out of harm's way. Anchored in here so it can't slip back out. Plugged in in the inverter. So yes, we'll be able to go down the road with uh, Power hooked up from the solar, run on the refrigerator, whatever else we want. So give us a thumbs up if you like this mod, thumbs down. If, we, if you don't like it, we did something wrong, but please leave a comment so we know what we did wrong and we can improve it. Also, please subscribe so we can get some more great tips and hints and watch our travels. Thank you.